Hey there, YouTubers. Simon Hawk here for Shamanic Lodge. When we take people out into the forest for these shamanic journeys, it serves a few purposes. Probably the biggest one is to get you reconnected back into your natural self, you know, your harmonic self, uh, to help you be the most basic and pure form of human being. Nature is good at this. You know, we haven't been an uh, industrialized species for that long. It's just been a few hundred years. Uh, as we try to keep up with the global networks of economy, environmental issues, and things like that, I think what happens, we start to really tone ourselves down to just get through the day. And it, in my view, that's kind of a sad phenomenon, really. I mean, people spend so much energy just trying to get through the day. I mean, just shutting down, keeping your eyes forward to your task to make that money, to pay those bills, and so on. Well, you get a completely different perspective when you go out into the forest or into the desert or even, you know, sleeping on the beach for a few days in the places where you can do that. Uh, you learn a lot of different things, you know. You start to see the things you take for granted. You know, water. You know, a lot of people don't have that. Uh, water management, fuel management when it comes to making your campfire if you're not taking it. Because when we go out, it, if you want it, you should have brought it with you because we don't go out with a vehicle. We, we go out with just the stuff that we can carry on our back. A lot of times, for me and Orchie, for instance, that'll be one big backpack on the back and then a small backpack that's sitting on the front. Kind of like a human sandwich of backpacks, right? Uh, we'll take enough water. Uh, we don't use water for the bathing or anything like that unless we collect it out there from rain. Uh, food is going to be very, very minimal. It's going to be like pasta, rice. Uh, some veggies, anything that's dried, canned stuff, all the heavy stuff, nope. So it's a real good time to, uh, for fasting, minimalize your diet, uh, a lot of cleansing is going to go on at that time. A lot of walking, you'd be surprised after a week you can lose a few pounds. But the other part is zoning in to just the, the wavelength of nature itself. You know, we encourage people to not do that much phone time. Uh, it's nice if you can get out where you really don't get that much of a connection. Um, you know, and connect in with nature. You know, when we look at the social media, we look at the news, especially on the environmental issues, we don't really know what the truth is that we're being told. Uh, it's obviously, it's agenda run. But if you want to get the real answers, laying on the ground, uh, you don't need all the drugs and stuff, the ayahuasca and the mushrooms. You just need a clear desire, you know, to know the truth. And you can ask nature as you're leaning up against a tree or going to sleep as you're laying on the ground, and you will get the truth if you're open to it. Oh, the other thing is about community. You know, even whether it's just one person, two people, a small group, there has to be some interaction there. There has to be some teamwork. Everybody has their stuff to do. You know, people in a two or three generations before us, they were busy from sunup to sundown preparing long term. I mean, at least two seasons ahead. They had to be busy people. They were hardworking people. They didn't have time to just sit on uh, the couch and just watch TV and bad programs and lots and lots of commercials. No, they were busy people. And they were trained themselves to be resourceful. They trained their children to be resourceful. When you start looking at uh, the younger generations from let's say our grandparents' time, my grandparents, I mean, I'm 61, so for some of you that's your great grandparents' time. In the last two generations, the resourcefulness, creativity, self-reliance, self-confidence, self-identification, you know, has just gone to a minimum. It's scary. Especially for someone my age watching this and having grandchildren knowing the kind of world they're gonna go up into. But you can change all this and you can change so much on a global scale in a very short amount of time. First of all, throw away your TV set. Just don't use it. Don't believe anything you're seeing and hearing on it most of its lies. That's not conspiracy theory. That's the truth. The other part about it is get back in your connection with nature. Nature will always tell you the truth. Get back in your connection as a human being. When you go to dinner with someone, you have coffee or something, look at them, not your phone. Have a conversation with them. These are the things that you have to do when you come out and camping with us on these shamanic journeys. Yes, if you have a business, if you have family, we're gonna say, yeah, you can do a little bit of phone time, but you don't need to be sitting in front of the campfire you know, doing this the same way you do it at the cafe. 
it, you're just wasting everybody's time. You know, Orsi's really busy, includes the Polka Romania, the Transylvania part, the really cool part. And, uh, I mean, it's, it was, it's been a wonderful surprise to watch her and her advancements as she's been doing this. It's been even more of a wonderful surprise to see how it's catching on so fast within the people. And I mean people from all ages, in their 20s to people that are my age. You know, so uh, if you're in that area or somewhere close and you want an appointment with her, you know, or Shoya Carolina or Oroji, I still can't say these uh, Romanian names right. I'm even worse with the Hungarian ones. But uh, write her on Facebook, you know, uh, get an appointment, enjoy the time out there. She's going to be back in the States here pretty soon, so get your opportunities while you can. And then we'll both be back towards the end of winter, and we're going to be taking people out for some uh, winter camping. And Romania gets cold, but it's a beautiful forest, a beautiful place to camp, and I'm really looking forward to it. So if you got any questions, leave some comments, subscribe to me, subscribe to her on Shamanic Woman, and uh, check out our Instagram, I'm Shaman Hawk on Instagram, and uh, she'll give you the details because she's going to leave a comment here, okay? Uh, until then, if you guys got questions and things like that, give a write-up. Catch you guys later, Shaman Hawk for Shamanic Lodge.